Welcome back to Double Click Academy, your ultimate online lessons. If it's your first video you're watching from us, you're most welcome and you can also watch a variety of videos from our channel. In this tutorial, we are looking at how to create a table of contents in one document and this topic is under the umbrella of Microsoft Word. So at this particular moment, you realize before we come into our table of content, there is some groundwork that we are meant to do. Before that, we are supposed to do some kind of modification into our document. We are supposed to relate them into heading one, heading two, and different heading numbers, depending on the type of and the nature of the document. So for this case, we shall now start doing with that groundwork first, which will entail us to look at all the whole document, and then from there we assign them the heading numbers. So we shall go to top of the document, and uh, from here you realize Okay, our document has a cover page. Now a cover page, we, are, we don't have much heading allocations into this. We don't have any heading one, heading two, and the rest of the headings. But what we're interested in is from this second page, which is the page of declaration. So you realize our example, we are basically working on the report, either academic, could be any other kind of report, proposal, whatever the case might be. So here, realize the first page that we are going to assign the heading number is this declaration so under declaration you realize it's plain you've just typed it and it's plain it is under normal from this case it's under normal so but we don't want it to be under normal we want it to have a certain heading number so on top here you realize we have normal normal is for every kind of normal that doesn't have any heading numbers then no spacing and then we have heading one where is our interest Going to be much allocated in is under heading one, heading two, title, and other heading numbers as well. They could be maybe up to heading five or whatever the case might be. So in our document here, you realize we basically want to assign the titles. We want to assign the titles, probably we can assign them the heading one. So at this moment, we shall now start modifying our titles or headings for this case like we have already said this could be our heading one and then uh, the down one will also be heading one we shall give it heading or headings we shall be assigning them their respective headings so when you come to chapter one we can understand it for this case so for here we shall now have this is chapter one which will take heading one then we have a sub a subsection of chapter one, which is 1.0. Now this one we are saying this one will take heading two, and then down also, 1.1 will take heading two. When we go down 1.2 will take heading. This, this one will also take heading two. Then we come to 1.3 will take heading two. 1.4 will take heading two. 1.5 will take heading two. 1.6 will take heading two. Then here now there is a 1.6.1. This one will take heading 3. And then we come down 1.6.2 will also take heading 3. 1.6.3 will take heading 3 as well. Simply because they are, these ones are subsections of subsections of chapter 1. That's why they are taking heading 3. Then we come to 1.7 will take heading, heading 1. I mean will take heading 2 is heading 2 then we come to 1.8 will take heading 2 and so forth then under chapter 2 because if it's a an organized report we expect this to start from a new page so under chapter 2 chapter 2 which is literature review will also now this case take heading 1 and then this one will take on heading 2 2.1 will take on heading 2 2.3 heading 2, 2.4 heading 2, and so forth. So that is how it will be. And now we come down to, we shall come down to chapter 3. Chapter 3, which is methodology, swording will take on heading 1, and then we have 3.0 will take on heading 2, and so forth. 3.1 heading 2, heading 2, heading 2. And this one now, 3.4.1 will take on heading 3. So that is that. So we can now go straight away to modify them. We want to modify it to design it to a certain font format that we want. 
So we shall click on it. We shall, because we, sh we are starting with the heading one. So we shall right click on heading one and then we come and select modify. From modify here under this formatting, we shall come and select the, the font type that we wish to have. Maybe for this case, we are taking Times New Roman. And then here we can take, assuming maybe the, in, the, in our document, we want it to be systematic. Maybe all the font sizes should be the same. Maybe we are taking it at 12. Now from here, we shall click on 12. We click on 12 and then we want to bold. We can also bold it. And then after bolding it, we can now take on the, the, the font size. I mean the font color, maybe we want it to be automatic. And then from there, we want to we want to center line it. We can now click on center alignment is here. Center alignment is here. And then the, after center lining, we want to put a, a line spacing. Maybe for the for heading one, we are putting it under this. We want that which is roughly I think double so we want that and what else do we want to format in this I think there is nothing much and then after that we can press ok so we have already modified heading one that's why from here you can even see that heading one has changed then we come to heading two heading two we shall modify it as, as well still by right clicking and then we modify it from here we shall click on uh, times new roman and we are saying we want our font size to be systematic we shall take it to be 12 then maybe we want to bold it and then we, we also want the font color to be automatic and then uh, we don't need to center line this maybe what we want is either left align or we can a give it a, a justified alignment and then from here maybe for this line spacing we can take something like that which is roughly either double I mean single or 1.5 and then other than that there is nothing much we want from there and then we shall click on OK so after doing that we can now go straight to we can go to Start assigning and we are starting from this which is a declaration under declaration we are saying we are signing it heading one so it means before we do that we have to first highlight it so we shall highlight declaration here and then we come and click on heading one and then we go to the next which will be given also heading one assignment so approval also takes heading one because we know these are independent sections they are not attached to anything or any other chapter so they are on their own that's why we are assigning it heading one and then we go on we have acknowledgement acknowledgement we are assigning it also heading one so every new chapter, we shall assign it its heading one. We shall assign it heading one because we know they are independent on their own. So we go on until we get done with the, all of them. This is heading one. Also, we are signing it because we have to be consistent with our document. Shall also make it in the upper case. Abstract is the same thing, heading one. Shall do the same thing about the consistency. And then we move on. Now we are in chapter one. Chapter one now is where we are going to see how we are going to ass ass I mean assign it both heading ones and heading twos and so forth. So now here we are giving it heading two because it's a subsection of heading one. 1.1.1 1 .1 1, we are giving it heading two as well. And then 1.2 1. 
1.2 we are giving it its heading 2 1.3 1.3 1.4 1.5 all of them have heading 2s the best way to do it is for you to highlight this and then you press control control key without leaving it as you highlight the rest so all of them have heading twos and then we move on 1.6 has heading two as well and then we have now 1.6.1 and 1.6.2 now you realize these ones now will be subsections of heading two so it means for this case we shall now assign them heading three and our heading three is here and is not modified so we can modify it in the normal ways we are saying in the font it is times new romans then it font size is 12 and then the font color is automatic and then we have a bold here it will also take a justified alignment and then maybe this kind of spacing and then we click ok so it means we have modified it now what we want is now to assign we shall assign it all of it is under heading 3 it's under heading 3 and then we have uh, this is 1.7 1.7 takes heading 2 and then we continue 1.8 takes on the heading 2 as well and then we move on that is that so now we are now in the next chapter which will now take the starting chapter title will take on heading one in this case heading one and then this one will take on heading two and then 2.1 will take on heading two as well so when you have uh, understood how to assign or which heading text which header number then everything will be simple and more special after you've modified it so for this case we are now having 2.2 which also we are saying will take on heading 2 and then we have heading 3 somewhere which will also take on heading 2 heading 2 and then if we have 2.4 obviously 2.4 will also take on heading 2 so that is that then maybe also uh, we can also look at chapter 3 for this case chapter 3 for this case chapter 3 will take on heading 1 naming there and then 2.3.0 will take on heading 2 and then we move on this will be heading two, heading two, and then we move on. We have 3.3, 3.3 is there, so 3.3 and 3.4 will both take on heading two, and then now here below 3.4 we have 3.4.1, which will now take on heading three. Will take on heading three so after signing now all of them their respective heading numbers we shall now go back to where we want to place the table of content which is under a section of table of content which is up there under preliminary pages so we shall now look for where exactly we want to place that table and you realize that table we shall be placing it under table of content which is here so this is where we are going to place the table of content so we shall put the cursor where exactly we want it to start from like you can see from there where my cursor is so after placing the cursor there we shall now go straight to references we can see references is here we shall click on references then from there we shall now come to table of content which is somewhere here there is a table of content here and there is a drop down. We shall click on the drop down. Then now from here we can now choose the format of the table of content we want. 
would we want a automatic turbo one, automatic turbo two, or manual, whichever. So we can choose from here. Maybe say for example we want to take on a, a automatic table one. From here we shall just click on automatic table one and there will be our table of content will be here now. We now have a table of content here which is this and it has captured all that we we have been placing or assigning the I mean the the, the heading numbers. So from here we have it from declaration up to the last bit of our document with their assigned key numbers from here. So we can just format this as well. If you feel like it's not so much nice for you, we can highlight the whole of it and then we we format. So highlighting the whole of it means you can just do what you want by highlighting. You know how to highlight. I'm convinced about that, that you know. In case you don't know how to do this, there are other previous videos that we already made. You can go to our channel and then you look for how to, how to use a word document from there and then you'll be positioned to do that. See how to highlight and do all that that, are, that we have just seen us do. Then after highlighting, we can now come back to home. From home here, we shall also come and look at uh, just basically formatting maybe we want it to, to have still times new romans and then maybe the size could remain the same and then maybe you want to justify the alignment should be justified alignment we can click on that and that is that so you realize from here we have our page numbers and uh, this will help you to press for what you want basically after seeing it so the P numbers are also in two forms we have roman numeral page numbers which entails the the preliminary pages then the main body of the work has these other numbers so we also had the, that kind of video in case you didn't watch please make sure that you can go back to our youtube channel and you can click on that how to how to put two pages preliminary pages and this other normal page numbers into our document. So you can also watch that from that and you'll be in position to do everything that you need to do to your document. Thank you for watching and please make sure that if you if you have not yet subscribed, make sure that you can subscribe to our channel and you'll be in position to always watch all the previous videos and even so the incoming videos. And also you can as well share it with your other colleagues who might be interested in having this kind of skills so that they will also be at par with you and with everyone else. Thank you so much.